If you watch my how to pick a light video, you know I prioritize results over everything, but that's not to say efficiency doesn't matter. Having accurate light readings is vital for setting your light intensity, so I got this Apogee MQ500. It's a full spectrum quantum PAR meter that was designed by NASA scientist Dr. Bruce Bugbee, whose projects include figuring out how to grow plants on Mars. Anyhow, this device measures light intensity in the range of 400 to 700 nanometers, which is the best spectrum of lighting for photosynthesis. This AM310 bundle comes with everything you see here, and the only additional thing you get in this set is this telescopic wand that lets you place the sensor easier. There's an included cell battery that you can install with the Phillips screwdriver, and once you put the battery in, the device is good to go. The sensor has this blue cap which reveals a white dome that absorbs and reads light. This device is extremely simple and easy to use. So here's a meter, and this is how you use it. There's five buttons, the on, sample, mode, up, and down. To turn the meter on, you just press on, and you can see, by default, it's on sample mode. If it's not, and you wanna choose the sample mode, you just hit mode, and then whatever is blinking is the mode that you're going to go to. So right now, if I hit mode twice, I'll be on sample. If I hit down, you see log is blinking. And if I hit mode twice, then I'll be in log. I wanna go to sample, so mode twice, okay? Now it's reading. Whatever the meter is reading is on the sensor. So you place this wherever you wanna take a reading. And to take a reading, you just hit sample. Right, so right now, let's say 16, sample. That just recorded it in the number one slot. Then I can move this to wherever I want. Again, zero. That's gonna be recorded in the number two slot. So this number on the top right told what slot has already been recorded. Right now, we're recording for the third slot. So let's do another number. Six. Okay, that's on the three slot. And then to see previous readings, all you have to do is push down. So number three slot is six, number two is zero, number one is 16. And then when you press down again, it's gonna bring you to number three again. So whichever was the last reading. To resume taking readings, you just hit sample again. Okay, so now this is recording for number four. So always know that you're recording for the number after this number on the top right. So number four slot would be, let's take six again. Okay, now the bad thing about this device is you can't go back and delete individual slots. The only thing you can do is erase everything and you do that by hitting mode until this run is blinking, then you hold down down, all right? While you're holding that down, press mode. And that just deleted everything, right? That's sample mode. Now log mode, you access again by pressing mode. Then you press down so that log is blinking. And then you press mode twice. So this is an automatic mode. So every 30 seconds, this is gonna take a reading, but it's not recording that reading. It's averaging 60 separate readings. So every 30 minutes, it's recording one reading. That's the average of 60. And it's gonna record it in that number one slot. The next 60 readings, which is 30 minutes to 60 minutes, it'll take an average of and record it in the number two slot, the number three slot, and then once it hits 99, the next slot, it's gonna go back to that first slot and overwrite it. You see, there's it taking a reading. It looks like it's off, but it's not. That was just one reading that it's gonna average out 60 times for that first slot. Another thing that log mode does is it records a daily total. 
So I paid $600 for this bundle. There's also an option to plug this into your computer, but the cable costs $62, which seems like a cash grab to me. Since I'll never be in a situation where I need more than 20 readings, the cable really isn't worth it. Overall, this is overkill for a small grower like me, especially when there's more affordable options like Photon. If you have an official grow op or a greenhouse, I could see where this is useful and the value really comes with its accuracy. It comes with a four year warranty and Apogee claims that the accuracy does not drift more than 2% per year. If you need to calibrate it, you're gonna have to mail the device into Apogee at your own cost. If you value this content, like, subscribe and hit that bell. For more honest reviews, check out hwgrow.com.